Hey guys, welcome to my channel, it's Latavia. So today I figured that we would go to Target together. I usually don't go to Target that much because it's like on the other side of town, but I love Target, I really do. I just don't go in there that often because when I do, I spend too much money. <laughs> um, yeah, so I do go to Target occasionally. When I do though, I usually just stick like within the kid clothing department because I really like to buy kids clothes um, or my department. But I really don't go into the makeup and the skincare because I already have skincare and makeup that I really like. And so I was wondering, like, what do they really have at Target? Do they have really good organic, clean makeup brands and skincare products? And if they do, I want to share those with you so that if you go to Target and you want products like that, you can get them, right? So here we go. We're going to go to Target. I will show you that we are here. I'm sorry, guys. I cut you off. I was trying to spin my phone around to show you that we are indeed at Target. So we are here, we're going to go inside and let's check out their products. Okay, so right here, it's on their natural beauty aisle and beauty wellness. So let's start over here and see if there's any good skincare brands. So they have their renewal for fine lines and wrinkles section. And so let's take a look at that and see if there's anything worth picking up. Okay, so I just reviewed all of the ingredients in their renewal line, and it looks like all of their stuff is actually really nice. They don't contain any dimethicones, which does cause acne and acne-prone people. No petrolatums. It has no actual alcohols that are going to be damaging or drying to the skin. So I really think that if you're looking forward to something for fine lines and wrinkles, that the Burt's Bees line for their refining and the renewal line is gonna be really great. Okay, so on to their sensitive, for sensitive skin line. Okay, so again, I reviewed their creams and everything in this line has the alcohol denatured, which is really interesting. It is further on the ingredient label, so if you're not too picky with your skincare line and what you put on your face, then yeah, it'd probably be okay, but I personally would not pick up these items. Okay, on to the Intense Hydration for Dry Skin line. Alright, so I reviewed their Burt's Bees Intense Hydration line, and all of it is good as well. So if you're looking for something for really good hydration, this would be a great line. On to their Acne Solutions for Acne Prone Skin. Let's check out this line. Okay, so I reviewed their Acne Solutions line, and unfortunately, the toner the spot treatment, the spot treatment cream, and the herbal complexion stick all has alcohol denatured and it's actually at the like beginning of the ingredient list. So that is not a good thing. I don't know if I would buy anything from the Acne Solutions line except for the pore refining scrub. Onto their skin nourishment for more radiant skin line. Let's check this out. All right, so I checked out their skin nourishment line and all of it is really great. It doesn't contain any alcohol or dimethicones, any silicones, parabens, or anything like that. So this would actually be a really great line. Down at the bottom here, they have a couple of body washes, a lavender and honey and citrus and ginger, and both of those do not contain any sulfates. And so it would be lovely for the body washes. And then they do have body lotion here for dry skin sensitive and normal to dry skin. And I've looked at their ingredients and they look absolutely wonderful. So if you're if your skin breaks out easily with like Bath and Body Works lotion and Victoria's Secret lotion, then you probably need to change something up to more of a natural lotion like Burt's Bees because they're actually absolutely wonderful. I've heard a lot about the Yes 2 line and so I'm gonna check out these products for you guys. All right, so after checking out their Yes 2 Tomatoes Clear Skin line, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, there's, there's some good ingredients, but there's also just lots of chemicals as well. And so you have to be really careful with lines that are trying to be natural, but they're not like 100% certified organic or anything. So I honestly, if, if I were anybody, I just wouldn't use this line. Um, so let's go down and check out. It looks like they don't have any lightly hydrate and refresh skin line left. This one it was supposed to be the yes to watermelon line and it's it's all gone. So let's go down to the next aisle of the yes to grapefruits. 
All right, the only thing I don't like about the Yes to Grapefruit Brightening Line is they do have a lot of fake fragrance. I'm not a huge fan of that. And then a lot of it is to do with like the color, like some of it is pink and so they've added like extra like fake dyes and things, which is not good for the skin. And they use a lot of citric acid to brighten the skin, but it also can be really harsh for sensitive skin. So just beware of the Yes to Grapefruit line. Let's move to the Yes to Cucumbers line. And this is for sensitive skin. For the Yes to Cucumbers line, um, it's not too bad. I, like, there's some chemicals on the end of the ingredient list so it's not like a hundred percent but the the moisturizer is actually pretty good the only thing is that they do have fragrance and it's not from a natural source so you just have to be careful with that all of their witch hazels are amazing they do have all kinds of different ones rose petal lavender cucumber unscented original and i use a lot of witch hazel like just for a toner at home. So if you want a really good toner, I love the Thayer's um, Witch Hazel. Then there's a new line here at Target called the Pacifica. And I've looked at all of their ingredients in a lot of their different ones. Like they have coconut, pineapple, kale. Um, and I really like their stuff, actually. Like, I might pick up something today. <laughs> I'm sucked in. So, um, I really like the ingredients in their oil-free water serum. So, if you're looking for something for kind of more of that oil to combination skin, this might be a really good pickup for you. And then I looked at the ingredients in their booster serum, and it was pretty dang good. So, I'm going to check those out today I might pick up something for myself. I also like on the back it says every true beauty knows it's what's on the inside that matters formulated without petrolatum, parabens, sulfates, or phthalates which is really important in a cleanser you don't want any sulfates. So they have the Derma E line here at Target and I reviewed all their stuff. The I like it. The only thing I don't like is the eye cream because it does have Dimethicone in it in the very bottom. So if you're acne prone, then you might want to stay away from this You might get a little bit of acne or breakouts underneath the eye area But like either than that, I really like the Derma E line at Target and this one seems amazing the anti-wrinkle renewal cream All right, so I checked out their Coco kind products and they all are absolutely wonderful I love facial cleansing oils because that's what I use for my face is just because when oil is an oil and oil dissolves oil off your face and it doesn't have any chemicals or anything. So I really prefer cleansing my skin with oil. So they have really great oils for that. And their vitamin C serum with sea grape caviar is wonderful as well. And then you have the Acure Welcome to Skin Wellness line that they have here at Target. And I reviewed all of their products here and all of it seems to be fantastic. Okay, so they have their Pixie by Petra line. I like a lot of their skincare products. But I was looking at their makeup, so their complexion perfection. I was like super excited because I was going to maybe try it. But when I look at the ingredients, um, it does have dimethicone, like lots of different dimethicones. And my skin just doesn't do well with that. So, I mean, if you're not acne prone, then maybe try it out. But um, I was like really excited about trying it, but there's no way that I'll be able to do that because that does have the dimethicone. Now for the beauty balm... And then the Beauty Balm also has Dimethicone right there. So, uh, and it does have like butylene glycol, which isn't the best for acne prone skin either. So I'm sad that I can't try some of their beauty products from the Pixie line. Let's look at their blush. All right, so their blush doesn't look too bad. Um, this is their tinted moisture stick. So um, if you want to check that out, they don't look too bad. At first I thought it was a powder, but it's not interesting. I really don't like the ingredients in their Sure Cheek Gel, so I would stay away from that. 
All right, guys, I found like the mother load of mother loads <laughs> collagen area of Target. So I am going to get a collagen bar because I absolutely love collagen so much. Um, their vital proteins are amazing. So they have the bars or you can actually get their collagen powder. And in my most recent YouTube video, I was talking about collagen and all the benefits of it. And so they have all kinds of different collagen here if you're interested. And then I absolutely love how they have the Ollie gummies. So you can find like some that are for glowing skin, flawless complexion, beauty, um, even some that help with like just getting some sleep at night with your natural melatonin in those and a collagen gummy ring. So I am a huge fan of this section. Like I love collagen. So if you're looking for some good supplements for collagen, Target is the spot. Hey guys, it's Latavia. I hope you guys liked our little trip together to Target. We did find some awesome stuff, right? There's lots of awesome, like organic, clean lines at Target. And so if you're interested, now you know which ones to pick up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Then you can see all my other videos. And when the videos come out, you will be notified. Also, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with other people that you'd love. If they are Target lovers, send them this video so that they know what to buy at Target. And I will catch you guys next time.